Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Hello friends, welcome to Circle Time in Miss April's classroom. My name is Miss April. What's your name? I'm so glad that you joined me today. We have a lot to learn in circle time. Let's start with our weather song. What is the weather, the weather, the weather? What is the weather, the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? What is the weather, the weather today? Okay, friends, it's time to look out of our weather window so we can see what the weather is today. Ready? Ooh, look, what's the weather like? What do you see? I see lots of clouds. Can you help me make a weather sentence? Perfect. Let's start with a weather picture. Which picture shows a cloudy day? If you chose this picture, you are correct. I see clouds. That means it's a cloudy day. Let's add the picture to our weather sentence. Perfect. Now let's read the sentence together. Ready? The weather is Cloudy. Great job. We'll read it one more time. The weather is cloudy. Awesome. Okay, now it's time to sing our cloudy day weather song. Ready? Cloudy, 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 cloudy. It is cloudy today. C-L-O-U-D-Y, cloudy. It is cloudy today. Great work, friends. Okay, we need to help Perry the polar bear get dressed for a cloudy day. It's also pretty cold outside because winter time has started coming around. So we need to make sure we get Perry dressed for a cold cloudy day. Can you help? Perfect. Let's start with his top. Which top should Perry wear on a cold, cloudy day. Should he wear a tank top or a long sleeve shirt? If you chose the long sleeve shirt, I agree. When it's cold outside, I want to make sure I'm wearing long sleeves. Let's put the long sleeve shirt on Perry. Perfect. Now let's help him pick out his bottoms. Which bottoms should Perry wear on a cold, cloudy day? Should he wear long pants or shorts? If you said long pants, I agree. I wear shorts when it's hot outside. It's not hot outside, it's cold. So we should wear long pants. Let's put the long pants on Perry. Oh, Perry has a blue shirt with red pants. Hmm, I wonder what color shoes he's going to wear. Let's see. Ooh, what color shoes did Perry choose? He chose to wear his red shoes. Let's put the red shoes on Perry the Polar Bear. One, two. Two red shoes for Perry the Polar Bear. Great work, friends. You helped me get Perry dressed for the cold and cloudy day. Now it's time to move on to our letter of the week. Do you remember what this week's letter is? It's the letter O. Can you say O? Good work. Do you remember what sound the letter O makes? It makes the ah sound. Can you make that sound with me? Ah. 
Ah, great work. Yesterday, we looked at an octopus. We know that octopus starts with the letter O because we hear the ah sound at the beginning. Listen, octopus. Did you hear it? Perfect. Today, we're going to look at letters and you'll give me a thumb up or you can say yes if it's the letter O. If it's not the letter O, you'll give me a thumbs down or you can say no. Are you ready? Perfect. Let's look at our first letter. Is this the letter O? If you gave me a thumbs up or said yes, you are correct. This is the letter O. It's it looks like a circle or an oval. Great work. Let's take a look at our next letter. Is this the letter O? If you gave me a thumbs up or you said yes, you are correct. It is an O. It looks like our lowercase O. Okay, let's try one more. Is this the letter O? If you gave me a thumb down or you said no, you are correct. This is not the letter O. It is not round like our letter O. Great work, friends. You helped me find all of the letter O's. Do you remember what sound the letter O makes? It makes the ah sound. Can you say it with me? Ah, perfect. Okay, let's move on to our number of the week. This week, we are learning about the number six. Can you say six? Perfect. Let's look at the number six. The number six has a line, a slanted line at the top, and it curves down and then makes a loop. So it's a curved line at the top and it almost looks like our letter O at the bottom. That's what the number six looks like. Can you help me count to six? That means when you hear six, you have to stop counting. Are you ready? Let's count to the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We heard the number six. That means we have to stop. Great job, friends. You helped me count to the number six. Now it's time to put six marshmallows in our hot cocoa. Can you help? Perfect. Let's count our six marshmallows. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great work. We have six marshmallows in our hot cocoa. I like to drink hot cocoa when it's cold outside. It helps keep me warm. And in the winter time, we know that it starts to get cold in many places. Okay, friends, now it's time to move on to our color of the week. Do you remember what this week's color is? If you said black, you are correct. Great job. Yesterday, we went on a color hunt for the color black. I found a book that had a black front cover. Today, we're going to sing our black song. I'll sing it first and you can listen and use the pictures to help. And then we'll sing it a second time and you can try to sing it with me. We'll go a little quickly. So if you don't get it, it's okay because we'll sing it again tomorrow. And you can also play the video over and practice the song as many times as you like. 
Okay, are you ready to sing our black song? Perfect. B-L-A-C-K spells black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Flying bats are black. Scary cats are black. Jelly beans are black. I like black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Sunday shoes are black. Santa's boots are black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Awesome. Did you enjoy the black song? Good. We'll sing it one more time. This time, you can try to sing it with me if you remember the words. If not, you can just listen. Ready? B-L-A-C-K spells black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Flying bats are black. Scary cats are black. Jelly beans are black. I like black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Sunday shoes are black. Santa's boots are black. B-L-A-C-K spells black. Awesome work, friends. I really enjoyed singing the black song. We'll sing it again tomorrow. But for now, let's move on to our shape of the week. Do you remember the name of this week's shape? It's a hexagon. Can you say hexagon? Great job. Let's count the sides and the corners on a hexagon. We'll start with the sides. Ready? One two, three, four, five, six. How many sides does a hexagon have? A hexagon has six sides, just like our number of the week. Now let's count the corners. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many corners does a hexagon have? A hexagon has six corners. So we know that a hexagon has six sides and six corners. Today, we're going to look at shapes and you're going to point to the shape that's a hexagon. Or you can use your magic finger to draw a circle around the hexagon. Are you ready? Perfect. Let's look at our first two shapes. Which shape is a hexagon? Remember, a hexagon has six sides and six corners. If you chose this shape, you are correct. This is a hexagon. It has six sides and six corners. Let's look at our next two shapes. Which one is a hexagon? If you pointed to this one, you are correct. It is a hexagon. It has six sides and six corners. Okay, we have two more shapes. Which shape is a hexagon? If you chose this shape, you are correct. It has six sides and six corners. That means it's a hexagon. Great work, friends. You were a great shape detective. You found the three hexagons. Well, that's it for our circle time board. That means it's time to take a brain break. After you take your brain break, I want you to click on part two of today's videos. It's our daily message time and we're going to be learning more about wintertime. 
I also have a fun activity. So make sure after your brain break, you come back and watch part two of today's videos. See you for our daily message. Bye. Hi friends, make sure you watch part two of today's videos. It's our daily message time. And that's when we learn all about this week's theme. Also, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you would like to see more videos from Miss April's classroom, make sure you click subscribe.